everyone, I'm Chef Ben. Today I'll be showing you how to make a nice turkey dish. But this isn't any ordinary turkey. It's a turkey roulade, which simply means we're putting something in the middle and we're gonna roll it up. So of course, we're making our turkey roulade and we're going to use our Maggi chicken season up, as well as one of our Maggi chicken bouillon cubes. So let me show you how we're going to do this. All right, so it's Christmas time. We all like sorrel, so we're using a little bit of sorrel in our stuffing for our turkey. So here I have a little bit of butter. It's about two tablespoons. I'm going to add it to my pan and let it melt. Once that has melted, I'm going to add one onion. I've just chopped up an onion nice and small. And I'm adding it straight into my pan. Next, I have some fresh thyme. It's just a couple sprigs of thyme. I'm going to tear the leaves off and throw them straight into the pot. Wonderful. So as that butter melts and that onion and thyme starts to cook, it's giving off a really nice scent. All right, so remember that sorrel we talked about? This is some fresh sorrel that I got today. All I did was I took the seeds out and I just ran a knife through it just roughly. So I'm adding my sorrel in. And here I have two apples that I've peeled and chopped up. I'm adding that into our pot as well. So I just want to stir this a bit. So our stuffing is going to have a nice, good, balanced flavor. So I'm adding a little bit of sugar. I'm also going in with some freshly minced garlic. if you want to find the recipe for this dish and follow it to a tea, you can do that. Go to www.nestlerecipescaribbean.com. So everything is coming together nicely. In this cup here, I have one cup of water and I have dissolved one Maggi chicken bouillon cube. I'm going to pour about half of this into our pot and that's going to help our apples and sorrel cook down and come nice and lovely. So while this continues cooking, I'm going to get started on the turkey. So to make this turkey roulade, we're going to need turkey breast. So here I have, this is a turkey breast roast. It usually comes, it's one big piece of turkey breast just like this. What I want to do is make sure that it's even in size. So how this part is a little bit thicker and this part is thinner, I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm gonna make an incision into it just like so. And essentially what I want to do is to roll the breast out into a thinner, more even piece of meat. like that. So you don't want to cut all the way through. So once you've done that now, we're going to let some aggression out. We're going to pound our turkey. So here I have some plastic wrap. So this is a meat mallet. If you don't have a meat mallet, you can use your rolling pin or something very heavy. And what you want to do is just pound this turkey breast until it's nice and thin so that it rolls up easily. So I'm just gonna continue pounding and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So here I have my pounded turkey breast. So it's gotten nice and flat and I, I have, you know, more surface area on here. Also, all the water that I've put into my sorrel and apples, it got absorbed. And so, 
this stuffing is ready for our turkey. I'm saying stuffing, but it's really our turkey roulade. This is what we're putting in the middle of it. So you see how it's nice and it's thick and there's no liquid in there? That's what you want. So you want to let this cool a little before we start filling it into our turkey. So our stuffing for our roulade has cooled down nicely. And so we're going to put it in here. I'm going to roll it up kind of like a Swiss roll. So I have my Maggie season up chicken. And I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of this on the inside of the turkey. Like that. That's good. And then you're going to just put this in the middle in a nice layer. See how our, our apples have melted down and everything has taken on that beautiful red color from the sorrel. And the sorrel that I use here is black sorrel because that's what is available right now. But if you had red sorrel, you could do that. It doesn't matter what type of apples you use either. I use the mix of Granny Smith and Gala. So I'm going to turn my board around and we're going to roll this up. You want to have some string or some twine or even some toothpicks. Today I'm going to use toothpicks to secure it at the end. So all you're going to do is start rolling it up like so. And I have a nice big piece of turkey here so this is going to be big. All right, so that's our rolled up turkey roulade. Maybe I got anxious and put too much stuff in there, but that's okay. So I'm going to take my toothpicks. So this can get a little bit messy. Don't worry about it. And I'm just going to put the toothpicks through so that it holds together. So once your turkey is held together like that, I'm going to go ahead and put a pan on and we're going to sear this off. Okay guys, so we're going to sear our turkey roulade before we pop it in the oven. So I have a pan here, it's on high heat and I'm just adding about a tablespoon of olive oil. And you want to make sure that your pan is nice and hot and you hear that sizzle when you put in your turkey breast. All right, so once it's hot, you're just going to go in and gently place your turkey in there. That's the sound that you're looking for. So you want to leave it for about two minutes and turn it so that all around gets nice and brown. After that, we're putting it back into our tray, pouring the remainder of our liquid we're going to cover it and pop it in the oven at 350 degrees and cook it for about 25 to 30 minutes until the turkey is cooked all the way through. Okay, so we've browned our turkey roulade on all the sides. This one started to fall apart because it's so big. So I just took some twine and I tied it up. So into this pan, remember that liquid that we reserved when we were cooking our apples and sorrel? Well, I'm going to pour it in here because that's going to help keep our turkey nice and moist. And then I'm going to cover it with some foil. I'm just going to pop this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until it's fully cooked inside. If you have a thermometer at home, it's going to read 165 degrees Fahrenheit when it's switched. When your turkey breast has come out of the oven or turkey roulade, you want to let it sit for a minimum of 5 to 10 minutes. And that's going to allow all the natural juices in the turkey to redistribute 
and help to continue to keep your meat nice and moist. So mine has rested for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna slice it up. But what I've done, the extra, remember that apple and sorrel that we made that's inside of our roulade? Well, the extras, I took it and I ran it through the blender, just added a little bit of water. And so now I have this lovely puree and this is going to be the same flavor as what is in the turkey breast. So I'm just putting a little bit on my plate. And here we go. That's just the end. So as you can see, our turkey breast is nice and moist. So that's it guys. Here we have our turkey roulade that we stuffed with our apples and sorrel and that we made using our Maggi chicken bouillon cubes and our Maggi season up chicken flavor. Don't forget to head on to that website, www.nestlerecipescaribbean.com for this recipe and all our other Christmas goodies. I'm Chef Ben, see you again.